Michael Thompson with lightenupandshoot.blogs.com, take 137. 138. 138, 138. So we're going to get this in two minutes or less. Um, this is the third part of a series that we're doing on speed lights. And we're going to talk about right now the second variable of exposure, which is aperture and how aperture controls your flash exposure. Again, let me just repeat that. This is, this is really what you need to know. Your aperture is controlling your flash exposure. So if you've got your subject and your subject is overexposed, the way you're going to control the exposure on your subject is through your aperture. So if they're overexposed, you're going to stop down your aperture. If they're underexposed, you're going to open up your aperture. I really don't know any other way to explain it. That is pretty simple. But let's see if we can let Andy shed some light on this, if there's anything he wants to add. Shed some light. Aren't you all funny? <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, it's, to me, it's pretty basic. It, it's something like this. When Aperture will control whatever your flash is hitting, uh, or your main source of flash is hitting, I should say. Uh, so if your subject or whatever it is that you are trying to illumin illuminate with your flash is too bright, then you need to stop down. Stop down means close your aperture. So for an example, if you're shooting at f5.6 and you need to stop, step down, no, stop down one stop, you have to shoot at f8. That's stopping down. If your subject is too dark or whatever it is that you're illuminating is too dark with your flash, you open your aperture. So if you're at 5.6, you'd want to open up one stop, which is uh, 2.8. I mean, F4, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, F4. What's wrong with you? I don't know. He's... It's the beer. <laughs> you, see the, you see the beer? It's the beer, it's the beer, it's the beer. All right, all right. Okay, so that's it. Flash controls, your aperture controls flash power. It's as simple as that. Your shutter speed that we talked about in the previous video controls your ambient or available light. And you say, well, why isn't my shutter controlling my subject? It's because flash is bursting at a fraction of a second. So that flash is hitting whatever you're lighting up, maybe a subject or a background or whatever. And your aperture is going to control whatever that flash is hitting. Where if there is an available light source, such as this from the sun or from a candlelight or from a street lamp, your shutter speed is going to control that. I think that's it. That's it. Over and out. Over and out. So we're sitting here trying to uh, come up with uh, questions for our next video. And uh, Michael sits down with me what looks to be a mix between caviar, snot, and uh, fish, fish eyes. Yeah, uh, I don't know. You, you guys be the judge of this. What the hell is that? I don't know. It's like a whole it, bunch of weird. I thought it, fruit I went and bought it. I thought it was an orange. <laughs> and then what is this? Look, it's like jiggly. I thought the weirdest fruits were in San Francisco, but apparently here, do you, bigger fruits. I'm told that you're supposed to eat the whole thing. Go ahead, do it. That's hot. That is freaking hot, dude. The ladies are going to be <laughs> all over you. It's kind of sweet. We should have went to go pick up a model in five words or less with one of these fruits. It's it's cr definitely crunchy. It's crunchy. It's got the consistency of a nice fish eye. Does it taste good? <laughs> it actually tastes pretty good. But it's weird. Go get your phone, dude. Your phone's ringing. Okay.